Hi guys, it's your girl Crystal. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So guys, we are coming back with another video. It's called 10 Most Disturbing Things Caught on Doorbell Camera Footage. So guys, if you guys don't know, you know, nowadays people have doorbell cams, cameras nowadays at their houses or even businesses, right? So I decided to do this video because I have doorbell cams and I could just imagine what people are, what, what are going through people's minds when they go on people's properties on their, and mess with their cameras, bringing the cameras and doing such. So me personally, if I was to see something like this on my doorbell cam, I would probably be shocked. I don't even know what to think. I'll probably be scared. I'll, I don't even know like what to do at the, at the moment. But at this, at this time, these are most disturbing doorbell ca camera encounters from people that actually go on people's properties and do whatever in front of the camera, whatnot. So we're gonna see what people be doing in situations like this or what they think, like what's going through their mind when they do this, right? So guys, I'm, I'm I look a kind of a mess right now, like my hair's all messed up just because um, I just got done working out and I'm very, very, very hot. It's very hot in, this, in my house right now. Like I turned off the ACs because after this video, I'm going to sleep. It's currently almost 12 o'clock midnight. And yes, guys, and um, we're gonna get to, get going on this video. Um, yeah, your girl's been on a diet and everything else and trying to get her health back in intact. So, um, yeah guys, we're gonna get started and I'll talk to you guys after the video, okay? All right guys, here we go, the doorbell with disturbing, 10 most disturbing doorbell cams footage. Here we go. Looking up to someone's front door, the woman clearly isn't acting normal, or at least until a car passes where she breaks character so as not to draw attention to herself. After the car is gone, the woman can be seen putting her face right up to the camera. What the heck is wrong with that lady? After watching the disturbing footage, the house owner would claim he had no idea who the woman was. Okay, can you just imagine something like that, guys? Just, just let me know down in the comments. Would you do you imagine something like this? Like you wake up and you see something in your camera at night, midnight. You're sleeping and you wake up and you see this random person on your door, on your camera, your doorbell camera at that. What would you do? Because that's very, very, very a good question to ask. What would you do in this situation? Me personally, I probably would have told the lady to get out my, get away from my porch. I would have called 911. Or I probably would have been scared and I said nothing. But anyways, yeah, what was that lady doing? It looked like she was op like, she was kind of like opening her mouth in the camera. Just like, I don't know what she was doing. It was kind of, it was kind of spooky at that. But just imagine you waking up and you see something like that on your camera like what would you do this doorbell camera video shows the horrifying early stages of a fire in a neighbor's property oh my goodness as the video goes on you can see as the fire gradually continues to grow so much so that it eventually reaches the house with the doorbell camera wow. at the time of the fire the house owner himself was asleep he would be woken up by multiple notifications on his phone, claiming motion was detected by his doorbell camera. After reviewing the footage, the house owner would frantically run to get a fire extinguisher and desperately attempt to put the fire out. Realizing it was too late, the house owner would escape through the house's back door. It's pretty safe to say that the motion detected notifications that woke up the house owner saved his life that night. All right, let's... all right, guys. That's kind of crazy that you know his doorbell camp. Like that guy could have died that night. You know, like that the person said. You know, there was a big fire. Like the fire was little, and then it just grew and grew and grew and grew. 
spread it all over the place. Now, his camera saved that, guys. His camera saved his life. If he wasn't getting notifications and things like that, same motion was detected. Because that's what my camera does. Like, it'll, it'll say, like, somebody lurking in your backyard or motion detected on your porch. Things like that. So, that's kind of, that's kind of a coincidence if you think about it. Like, his camera actually saved his life. Like, he could have, he could have died. He was asleep. And he would have never knew that fire was going on until he looked at his notifications and seeing his camera was giving him some type of notification saying, oh, the motion detected, motion detected. But it's too bad that the guy's house actually caught on fire, you know what I mean? Like, he tried to put it out with the extinguisher and it wasn't working. But I feel, actually feel really bad for the guy's house and things like that. But so, you know, you know, it's just a coincidence what doorbell cams can do nowadays, I guess. Let's see what happens. Hey, babe. Yeah? Uh, huh? This video captured a woman frantically knocking on this house's front door. As she continues to do so, she can be seen constantly looking behind her. And that's when you realize why. A man walks up to the woman and proceeds oh to grab her firmly, telling her to get into the car. All the while, the woman can be heard pleading for him to stop. identified to be 20 year old Victor Kucic and he would ultimately be charged with third degree felony kidnapping. This ring doorbell starts off showing the house owner simply doing her laundry. Though before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing. And the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. voice can be heard desperately pleading for help, though it's unclear as to where the voice is coming from. Clearly dude, disturbed. Dude, that is crazy, guys. That is freaking insane. Just imagine you, just imagine you hear a voice coming from your camera and you don't know where it's coming from. You know, I've, I've always thought, you know, people could hack, you know, there's a lot of things going on in this world, you know, people hack, people, you know, hacking security systems all the time, so... You know, just to, you know, make a plan. Like, I don't know, just make a plan of some sort of trying to harm somebody or just, you know, trap them or whatnot. So this is kind of crazy because this lady is going to not do laundry. And she hears, please help, please help, lady, please help. That's probably a trap. Probably somebody hacked her camera. But this is insane. Like crazy i can't imagine what this lady is going through and what is she thinking at this moment is she hearing stuff like i don't know i don't get it like i don't i don't get it like if i was like i said if i was in a scenario like that i probably don't know what to do <sighs> but this is insane this is insane and worried it could have been someone hiding around her property the woman would end up calling the police. I looked down, I didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just sure they just were hearing something. Um, and then I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just sure they were hearing something. I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just sure they were hearing something. It's still unclear whose voice was talking right. or even where it was coming from. It's crazy. This doorbell camera footage seems to have captured an almost transparent looking figure walking across the house owner's property what in the middle the of the night. The figure looks to have no face and seems to slowly become less visible as it continues to move. Wow. The audio from the video reveals the noise of very faint footsteps. Uh, 
after reviewing the footage and examining around the property, the house owner found nothing out of the ordinary, and it's still unclear what exactly was caught on video that night. The owner of this house would wake up to a notification on his phone telling him motion was detected at his front door. Not that light. After reviewing no, no, the footage, no, 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 no. this is what he found. Turn it up upstairs. Turn it there off. was an old woman with a knife just standing at his front door, constantly shifting her body weight from side what to side. What is she holding the in her hand? can be seen awkwardly holding and looking at the knife, as well as constantly glancing all around her. What? What is she gonna do with that weapon? What? That's creepy, dude. That is so creepy. After a few more seconds, the woman finally attempts to ring the doorbell, but seemingly can't bring herself to do it for whatever reason. Me personally, guys, if I was to see an old lady with a weapon or any sort and she tries to ring my bell, you already know what she's capable of doing if she has a weapon, right? I wouldn't even open the door. I would have said get off my property. Respectfully. Off my property. You know, people are just crazy nowadays. Like, they would do anything, anything to harm people or do anything to people. And this is just sick to me. That people actually do this to other people. It's just sick to me. Like, why? Like, why are you doing that? Like, I don't know. Like, what people, what, the, what goes through your mind when you, when you think about stepping on somebody's property, doing crazy stuff in front of their camera? Like, are you insane? Or like, seriously, are you insane? Like, seriously. She wants to ring the bell, but she can't. And after two minutes of footage, it cuts off. It's still unclear who this woman was or what caused her to walk up to a stranger's front door wielding a knife. Right. After hearing his doorbell go off, this San Diego house owner would look at his doorbell camera through his phone, and the camera revealed a supposed door-to-door -door salesman waiting outside. The house owner decided to confront the man with the doorbell speaker, and that's when the salesman claimed he was looking for the Robinsons' residence at 712 which was not the house he was at. Mm. After being informed of this, the salesman would politely apologize for the mix-up. This is the Robinson's residence at 712? Uh, now you're at the wrong house, this is 721. Oh, I apologize for that. Suspicious of the encounter, the house owner would send the footage to the local police department, who disturbingly confirmed that this exact man was suspected of breaking into at least 19 homes and wow. impersonating a salesman to do so. The man has yet to be caught by police. Likely taking plain. Now this is why I don't trust anybody, especially a random person. I don't care if you're a salesperson or not. You know, like, people could fake being a salesman. They could show a badge or whatnot. You could buy badges online nowadays. You could, you could make fake IDs now. You can claim to, to work for this whatever company or whatever. But this is why I don't trust anybody, especially when I hear, like, when I, when I have people, like, ringing my bell, I talk to the, the speaker first before I open the door, just to be on the safe side, because you never know what can happen. You never know if somebody's in, um, trying to pretend to be something that they're not. You just got to be careful of who you open your door to, especially if you have cameras. Always communicate through the speaker. Never open your door because you never know what their intentions are. And always, 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 like when my husband's home, I have him open the, like when he's home, I have him open the door just because, you know, I don't trust. Like I said, I don't trust a lot of people and I really don't. Like this is why I have trust issues now because of stuff like this. Just seeing stuff like this makes me sick. Like, what do you, what do people go through 
on your state of mind like what like what's going through your mind it goes for anything it goes for anything it goes for anything like i don't i don't get it during the whole killer clown craze of 2016, this the ring doorbell heck? caught the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. The person can be seen tilting their head and slowly oh. walking up to the door, almost the whole time staring directly into the camera. While it's most likely just someone crazy, trying to scare guys. people, there's a small oh. chance something a lot more sinister is going on here. Like, people don't have nothing better us to do but just harass people. It's crazy. And why that specific house? Like, there's a lot of houses in the neighborhood. Why would that be, Why that specific house? Oh, my God. That is crazy. To this day, it's still unclear whether the house... Alright guys, so we're at the end of this, we are so done with this video, like, it makes me sick to my stomach just to even see stuff like this because, like, like I said throughout this video, what does, like, what does, like, why do people do this? Like, I don't get it. Like, if I had that answer and I had that answer, answer to me, why do people do this? Why do people feel like it's okay to go up in people's property, look at their cameras, Pull around in their cameras and whatnot and just sickly do stuff like this like and then not only that you know you got people representing salesmen and robbing houses and stuff like that you got old ladies carrying weapons and whatnot it's just ridiculous to me like why would why like why like when i see stuff like this it makes me sick to my stomach like i don't know like what it is it makes me sick but yeah guys um Comment down below what you guys think of this video today and let me know what your opinions are. And also, um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel and um, join the family. And um, yeah, guys, we are at the end of this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching with me and subscribe. And also share the videos, guys, because it also gets us more audience. It gets us a, growth, a bigger audience. And it also gets the, the videos viral. So please, 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 can't do this without you. Please get to 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Love you.